Okay, here is a uh, tip or a technique on a way to set up an LN100 or LN150. Uh, if you get into a situation where you don't have enough points to use a resection, which Magnet Field calls uh, that routine, they call it reference points. If you either don't have visibility to some of your control points or your control points got wiped out and you're down to just two, which if you're down to less than two, you're, you're in big trouble anyway. But if you're down to two, which is my situation here today after some other trades uh, wiped out a couple of my control points, then uh, you're stuck with having to use Occupy Point. But because the LN100 and 150 are self-leveling, uh, it introduces a little bit of a difficulty in getting aligned over a control point. So what I do, I take a tri-brock with an optical plummet, put it on my, uh, on my plate and loosely tighten it down, and I don't plant any of my legs, and I hold two legs and I pivot on one until I can see that I'm over the point. Then I uh, have all my uh, adjustment uh, knobs at the neutral position. You see there's an index line on each one of these. It's maybe barely visible right there. So you get them all approximately at the index line. And then I use the legs to level the tri -brock until it's rough level. Then I verify that I am indeed over the point. Easier said than done doing this, but there it is right there. And then I can take the tri -brock off, mount the instrument, let it self-level, but because the tri -brock was very level to begin with, the self-leveling mechanism is not going to uh, lift one side of the instrument much uh, to try to get level. And I turn my laser plummet on, and I'm usually within the diameter of the nail at that point, and it's just a a small movement to get to the location point at the center of the head of the nail. So I left out the part where after you get over the point it's important to step the legs in and then you do your leveling but you probably already knew that. So now I'm turned on and the instrument is leveling itself you know it goes it goes level then it rotates 180 and then it um, checks its level well, as long as the plummet the laser plummet is flashing that means it's not level yet, and when it double beeps and, uh, and stops flashing, that's when you know you're level. So it looks like I'm a little bit more than the half the diameter of the head out. So I'm just gonna loosen up. I'm gonna put this down. I'll edit that out. So I move the instrument, and then I press and hold the self-level button. It double beeps to tell me when it thinks it's level. It's close, it's an eighth inch or so. So I'll do this one more time. I like to let it go through its full cycle, both uh, zero and 180 degrees. I, I feel like it's, probably not good to interrupt that. So I've still got an eighth or less. Okay, so I've loosened the uh, clamp and slid it over until the laser plummet is in the center of the mag nail. And then I hit self-level. It moved essentially not at all this time. And I think it's gonna decide here in just a second that it's level and I'm over my point and then I'm in business. I can start laying stuff back out. So again, this all comes from not having enough points to do a resection or maybe some other circumstance where you would specifically wanna occupy a point and backside another one. I can think of maybe a few reasons, not necessarily with a, a um, robotic non-optical instrument but if you were using a conventional optical instrument there might be reasons why you wanted to specifically set up over a point rather than do a resection but anyway just a technique maybe it's useful to you I know it's been useful to me and all it took was spending uh, 
you know, 50 bucks or so. I think I actually already have that one from an old, old instrument I had years and years ago. So um, if not, you can buy one on eBay. I'm going to make another video soon about how I establish uh, control off of an existing building with an LN100. Uh, since there's no reflectorless capability, I've got another technique I use for that. If that's something that's interesting to you, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video about how to uh, resect off an existing house or building in case you're doing uh, additions, which I find myself doing a lot of. So that's why I developed a way to do that. All right, let me know if that's interesting.